Um, uh, interim Chief Slowly, or sorry, Interim Chief uh, Bell, my apologies. Um, in Ottawa, during the uh, protest clearing operation, were any loaded shotguns found in the trucks of protesters? So there would have been public notifications okay. made. So we had a, a, a cabinet minister, the Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations, Mark Miller, retweeted that article from Justin Ling from the Toronto Star, claiming that there were loaded shotguns found in trucks. This is misinformation, uh, Chief, and I submit to the committee. Misinformation being spread uh, by a journalist and misinformation being spread by a member of this government. Hands wrap, knuckles tape black. Pick my gloves up off the mat. Fighting's all I ever had. Wasn't born with tons of gifts. Had to work hard as a kid. Know that everything I did was to catch the other kids. Slowly built that self esteem. Early on this rapid expansion of Canadian government <laughs> power is dying to know what you thought of it, Jonathan. Hello. Well, I thought it was, hello, and I thought it was quite excessive. This is an act of civil disobedience. Uh, that is a standard tech tactic of uh, groups going back to the civil rights movement even earlier to block uh, bridges and streets uh, to do what was referred to as, quote, good trouble. And so the, the troubling aspect of what is coming out of the prime minister's office is that by this rationale, they could have cracked down on the civil rights movement. They could have arrested Martin Luther King. I mean, I think that the office needs to dial down not just in its rhetoric, but it, the means that it is using. By freezing this money, what the government is doing is preventing other people from supporting a protest. These are Canadian citizens who've gone to their capital to engage in an act of civil disobedience. The government can clear the roads. They can arrest people who are blocking the roads. But they have gone to an extent here that treats these protesters as if they were terrorists. Hey, I'll be last place, that's all right. I don't work at a fast pace. I'm a steady horse creeping up straight past it. And once I pass you, no one's getting past me. I see people hit walls and they stop there. I don't get that my man is sound scared. Good things take time, better prepare. Cause anything great takes pain as a fair. Oh, take it from me, cause I got to this place where no one can tell me to do anything. I call my own shots, I call my own place. I enjoy my life almost every day. And I could teach you if you listen to me. You follow some rules, don't need gifts to be paid. Persist is better than brains any day Just listen to me and I'll show you the way our souls, we can feel there's something empty We need something more I feel destiny, she tempts me Tells me there's two paths They both have a different ending Choose wise and you'll find That pain leads to ascending Till I'm dead and buried Deep within the cemetery I Small fringe minority Of people who Are on their way to Ottawa Or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing do not represent the views of Canadians who have been there for each other, who know that following the science and stepping up to protect each other is the best way to continue to ensure our freedoms, our rights, our values as a country. Inquiry that starts today, 65 witnesses over 30 days. You know, when it's all wrapped up and the commissioner, if he finds that, uh, that the, uh, there was no justification for the federal government to invoke the Emergencies Act, should there be consequences for the federal government, including your resignation? Well, we knew from the very beginning uh, that invoking the Emergencies Act is a big step. It had never been done before. But given these unprecedented illegal protests, uh, we needed to take action. We took it in a way that was measured, that was responsible, that was time-limited choices we make. We didn't enter uh, into using the Emergencies Act lightly. We used it uh, with a sense of uh, it was the necessary tool at the time. Uh, we used it in a way that was measured and proportionate. Uh, and we're really pleased that the Commission is going to be able to hear from all these witnesses. And that was why I offered to appear. The ride can just report today that the cost of the app is between 29 and $54 million to the federal government. Now, these companies in Toronto say they could have done it for a million. And this is gross overspending. How do you defend that kind of overspending? We know that democracy, that system of government that Churchill said was the worst form of government, except for all the others which have been tried, we know it has its origins in Athens. But a very important question is often missing, and that is, what gave rise to Athens?
What gave rise to all the philosophy, the math, the fundamental ideas some 3,000 years ago that started Western civilization? And the answer comes to us from the historical record of one battle when the Persians attempted their invasion of Greece. The Queen of Persia, surprised at the success of the Greeks who were defending their homes, asked one of her military generals, and I quote, Who governs these Greeks? Who commands their army? And the general, who was also surprised by how strong the Greeks were, responded, No one. People say they are no man's slaves or servants. That was the spirit of freedom that propelled the Greeks. That is the spirit that started Athens, democracy, and the fundamental basis of our civilization. That is freedom. Do you hear me? That is freedom. Nothing else of importance is at stake. It is about human flourishing and humanity's survival. Anyone who diminishes this by calling it exaggeration or hyperbole will lead you to a path of extinction. The true path is hard, but it is the only way forward. You must fight for your ancestors, fight for your children, and fight for yourselves. The future is ours. The people are awakening to a force that cannot be suppressed. Glory be to freedom, glory be to Canada, and glory be to all of you. Thank you.